Windows has a Copilot experience coming and it's very exciting. Not just so you can quickly change things like settings and things like that in a natural language way, but in a way that it creates new opportunities for a lot of organizations and for employers. What I mean by this is if you're not familiar with it, Windows has been on a long track of making it more connected to the employee experience that we have when we use tools like Microsoft 365. When you do a Windows search today, you can often connect that through Bing uh, Enterprise as well as through uh, the experiences with Microsoft Search so that I can see my enterprise documents show up when I do a search. I can see things like people show up when I do a search. And for a large number of people, this is how they work, right? They're used to using their desktop and that's the way that they interface with things. So having an experience layer like search that connects there has made a big difference for a lot of use cases. Now we have that same richness on Copilot because the Copilot experience that's built into the desktop is very actionable and easy for people to use. And it's going to help both with adoption of Copilot experiences, adoption with your enterprise tool sets, because of course you can do a lot of those uh, Copilot uh, jump off points from there into those you know specialized experiences uh, that you might use in Microsoft 365, but also because it has a lot of contextual queuing. Let me use an example. Let's say you're um, on your Windows 11 device and you've opened up a browser and you're working on a website that is on a legacy web, w, web content management platform. That web content management platform might not have ChatGPT or other tools like that implemented in it so that it can do things like auto summary, writing assistance, etc. And so for many users, they're already using, you know, a browser add-ins, they're using other tools for that. Well, for many others who don't have that, even that level of digital skill and fitness, they could at least use the desktop experience to do exactly those kinds of summarizations or quick actions on the content that's in that web page. And it doesn't matter what browser you're in. So I don't have to worry about deploying, you know, different add-ins for each browser, et cetera, which is a really big advantage. So there's a lot to be said about having something on the machine that can interface and support me from a co-pilot experience. And there's a lot to be said for familiarity for those who use those experiences today you know, are sort of Windows centric or desktop centric. The other big one that I want to highlight here is that it allows this to also be a more seamless experience. A lot of people already use their Windows device as a launch pad. You know, some people might right click on those task items to open up a recent document in say PowerPoint. Whereas other people might be used to using, you know, PowerPoint online or going into the PowerPoint app and then clicking on recent and opening, you know, so there's different ways in which you can accomplish the same task. Because there's so many ways you can accomplish some of those tasks, imagine an experience in Copilot where you don't need to teach people there's five ways to do this. You can just teach them one consistent way which is just say what you want. Open up that recent document that was about X. And so it will be able to infer from that and grab that file for you. There's a lot of potential in the Windows Copilot experience. And I hope you're as excited as I am, not just about how it amplifies the efforts we're already investing in with Microsoft 365 Copilot, Microsoft Viva Copilot and more, but how it brings this to an entirely new audience that really can benefit from it and brings new use cases to, to the forefront that might be really interesting in your particular organization and what you're trying to accomplish. So really excited about the introduction of Windows uh, Copilot, and I hope you are as well.